All right, guys, welcome back to another breeding video. Today, I'm going to show you how to do half and half breeds. I was going to show you just rock and ground type Pokemon individually like that, but I think it's time I show you how to breed two different Pokemons from two different environments. So today, I'm going to show you how to breed Horsey and Charmander together. Fire plus water. It's seem it sounds like it'd be very difficult to do but it's actually pretty simple charmander gets a little wonky trying to configure his setup but if you copy the exit up exactly how i make it right now you should be fine making a charizard fall madly in love with a horsey now all you're gonna need for this is sea lanterns for water nether rack for fire and then a flint and steel for fire so that you could light everything on fire the reason i need flint and steel this time rather than just nether rack is because each material has a different value to each pokemon fire type pokemon respond best to fire itself they get three points for every block that a piece of fire is put on that is why i need flint and steel because i'm going to need that to make Charmander fall madly in love with Horsey. So same thing. It's going to be a 9x9 nine nine radius. You don't need any ranch block upgrades. I'm going to show you how to do this without upgrading a ranch block. So if you copy the setup exactly how I do it. You should be golden. And I'm going to show you. What they look like when they're rapidly in love. When they're not rapidly in love, I mean, rapidly like each other every day. Or whatever it calls. Love grows rapidly. And then, I'm going to show you the trick that I use to make them fall madly in love. From two different types, without any ranch upgrades. Alright, so now, if we go like this, you see Charmander... Charmander is only attracted to Horsey every day, and Horsey's already, um, love for Charmander grows rapidly every day. So, we're gonna take him out, and now I'm gonna do the Flint and Steel. I'm gonna try to be careful, because I don't know if I could die in creative doing this. I know on regular Pixelmon servers, they have it so you don't die. Now we're going to bring him back. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. And Charmander grows rapidly for Horsey every day. And Horsey is still rapidly. Now this is the trick that I use. And I figured out a few days ago how to make them fall madly in love. I was trying to figure this out so many different times. It was so hard to do, but... I finally got it. So, you're going to want to build two walls. I can't build this. Okay. Sorry, it's hard to do it in this room. Going to build a wall like this. I didn't take an account for how tall I had to actually build this wall. <laughs> You're going to want to do the same thing on the other side for Charmander. Oh, man. Okay. Now, we got to do Charmander side. I suggest giving yourself more space for these type of builds so that it's easier for you to do these like this. Now, I'm going to leave it without the wall in the back for now to see if they fall madly in love anyways. Because I've been wanting to see if I need the wall or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Charmander is just the hardest one to do this with. Which is why sometimes I need the extra walls. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure you cover the top this time. Oh, okay. I could just walk in the fire. Cool. I don't got to walk tiptoe around in anymore. I don't know why it, wor it works. It doesn't need to be cobblestone that you cover this with. I noticed that I've also have ceilings covered with granite and it still works so cover it with whatever needs to be covered i suggest building it underground so that the ceiling's already there so you're gonna want to build it i guess four blocks above whatever the ranch upgrade is on so you see ranch upgrades on this block that's one two three four up if you build it down below because somebody some people like to build it one level below this it would still be four, but like one, two, three, four, like that. But you got to make sure you build this ceiling. So now we're going to go over to Horsey. Where's Horsey at? Horsey falls madly in love with Charmander. Would you look at that? And let's see Charmander. Charmander grows rapidly. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to close in the wall because Charmander is a pain in the butt. Pretty sure this is what he needs to fall madly in love. Nope, it still grows rapid. Okay. Let's take him out. Let's put him back in. Sometimes I gotta reset them. Nope, it still grows rapidly. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do what I did on... Uh, Inside the Pixelmon server I was playing on. So you might have to just do this. It's annoying, but... It's what you gotta do. Alright. What the heck? There we go. Charmander now falls madly in love. So I had to build extra walls for Charmander. I know this is annoying, but I mean, if you want to have Horsey and Charmander breeding, you want them to be as, to do it as fast as possible. This is your best bet. This is how you make Charmander fall madly in love with Horsey. And that's pretty much it. Now to prove to you guys that this ceiling does matter, I'm going to break up this ceiling right now. And we're gonna see if they're still madly in love. Oh, this still madly in love. Okay. I'm gonna break up the entire ceiling then. I just want you guys to see that you need the ceiling to be covering in order for them to fall madly in love with each other. cool all of it's gone and look at that horsey's love for charmander grows rapidly after i take those blocks away and now charmander is more attracted to horsey every day so just adding that ceiling made them fall madly in love with each other after building all this so remember build half of this for horsey so go one, two, three, one, two, three, four rows for horsey. And then the fifth row have four cross. And then on the other side of the ranch block, do four cross for Charmander. And then you're also going to want the same setup. And then you're going to want to add fire to all the nether rack on the ground. And then you're going to want to add this wall nether rack right above the fire. Don't, don't put out the fire right above the fire. And then just add enough nether rack until Charmander falls madly in love but if it still isn't make sure you have that ceiling in if you don't have that ceiling in 
they're not going to fall madly in love. I don't know why that is. I just noticed that when I do half and half breeds, that's the only way that I can make them both fall madly in love. I did this with Tratini. I did this with um, Whooper and Horsey. I've done this with a lot of different Pokemon. Now, if you want to come see all my setups on stream, go right ahead. I'm going to make another one of this to show you the same thing with Charmander and Dratini. Horsey with Dratini. Whooper and Horsey lots of different ones so if you guys want any more different type pokemon that fall madly in love with each other so that you get eggs a lot quicker let me know in the comments below what you want me to breed and i'll figure a way out to breed them and fall madly in love with each other so that you guys can just go based off that and have a better time in your pokemon experience when you come to breeding i'll see you guys later so